what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go with a look at the Microtech Siphon 2. This is a bead blasted stainless steel version, item number 401-SS-BB. There's not much to go over with the packaging. The box is the same box that they package the new Microtech Ultratech Tri-Grips in. There is no instruction manual that came with this pen. There's no paperwork or anything. It was just the pen and the packaging. So I think this is a really nice looking pen. It's definitely something that stands out in a sea of just straight pens. Um, it's, it's definitely got a unique look to it. So you're going to stand out when you've got this pen compared to all the other pens out there. To deploy the actual cartridge, you just lift this lever up. And it's got a nice solid feel to it, the mechanism. It locks in place very nicely. Now when you're retracting the ink cartridge, you need to be careful because this is a bit like a mouse trap. If you've got your finger here and you're not paying attention, look at how much snap this has got. And if that catches your fingertip, it is going to wake you up in a hurry. So I like to just have my hand over the pen and then kind of guide it down like that and I don't get my fingers snapped with the pen when I do that. It writes very nicely. When I first ordered this pen, I was under the impression that the majority of the Siphon 2 pens came with the Pilot G2 gel ink cartridge. This pen did not come with that cartridge. This one came with the Fisher Space Pen cartridge. And to change that, you just unthread this cartridge cap here. It's got a lot of thread to it. And then there's your ink cartridge. And then it just slides into your ink cartridge mechanism. And that threads back on. Like I said, there's a lot of threads on it. Now, this is something that kind of disappointed me. Even when you thread this down really nice and snug, get this in close and see if I can get it to focus for us, there's still some play. And when you go to make contact with the paper to write, you've got a little bit of give initially. So you want to make sure you press down and then start writing. <sighs> to me, that's kind of disappointing and surprising from Microtech that I kind of feel like Microtech is a very precision machining company and that they make some really high-end, high-quality stuff. And to see that much play in the ink cartridge for a pen that retails at $160, that surprises me. Here's another thing that surprises me. As I write with this, and I close it and I get the pen deployed back out and write with it and so on and so forth. After so many, I don't know, hours and days of use, I will notice that without me touching this part of it at all, I mean, you don't need to touch that part of it. You deploy the pen and then you write with it and you can see that my finger is not making any contact with this cap here. And after so many times of closing it, opening it, writing with it, and so on and so forth, I will notice that this is loose. Now, like I said before, it's got a lot of threads on it, so it would have to really unthread a lot for it to come apart and for you to have this um, little cap here laying in your pocket or come off completely. I don't think that that's gonna happen. There's a lot of threading. You, you would notice it before it came off. 
but it also enhances this problem of the more this comes unthreaded, the more this can move, and even when you cinch down on it really tight, it still moves, and even when you really cinch down on this tight, it still backs off and unthreads without you touching this cap here. And that surprises me. I really expected more from a Microtech product. Now, I would imagine that it might be possible for you to take and remedy yourself by putting just a little bit of like a felt um, bumper on the back of this and then trimming off the excess so you've got a little bit of like a sponge on the end of this so that when you place it in its little home there and you thread this down that sponge creates a little bit of resistance keeping the pen pushed all the way down and that would put a little bit of pressure on this threading maybe keeping it from unthreading in itself and keeping the pen from uh, the cartridge from shaking around within the pen. For me, a $160 pen should not require me figuring out how to make it a little nicer. It should be immaculate and perfect out of the box. Uh, another thing I had thought to do to keep this little cap from unthreading would be put just a dab of blue Loctite on it, but it, that's messy. I don't know how hard it would be to unthread this with even just a little bit of blue Loctite on there to change the cartridge because inevitably you will need to change the cartridge. So I don't know, to me I kind of feel like that's kind of a, a big deal for a $160 pen for me to have to figure out how to keep the cartridge from shaking about within the pen and keeping the end cap here from unthreading kind of expect more from a Microtech. But um, ignoring that for a moment, going over the, the really nice lines of this pen, I really like these flat lines. I like the little gaskets that they put in here, these little O-rings for a little bit of grip and traction. Um, per personally, I kind of would have preferred to have either all black or all of this reddish orange. I feel like these rings are already an accent. You don't need to accent within the accent and have two accenting colors. Uh, I, I don't, that's just my own personal preference for cosmetics. The Siphon 2 also has a pocket clip where the Siphon 1 did not. And that kind of baffled me when I was looking at the pen. I thought, well, my goodness, don't you kind of have a pocket clip here? that you could use as a functional pocket clip. And if you've got a Siphon 1, I imagine that's probably what you actually do is you use this as a pocket clip or you just toss it right in your pocket. But one of the problems with using this as a pocket clip is even though it's got a lot of spring and snap pulling it down to the pen side here, it doesn't have a lot of firm hold like this uh, pocket clip would have doesn't grasp your clothing very firmly and if this thing is resting in your pocket like this it's actually kind of loose and it would be easy to catch on something and have it fall out of your pocket and if you didn't hear it fall that's $160 you just lost because you caught your would-be pocket clip on something as you're walking around. So the pocket clip is a nice addition it does fit nicely into your pocket and I think it actually looks kind of nice when it's in your pocket and that's all you have showing it looks a little inventiony and just unique and neat I really like the way that it that this pen looks collapsed like this uh, I wish that they would have just figured a way to make this a more functional pocket clip. I know that's not exactly what it was designed to do. It's just the lever to deploy the pen. But I wish that they could have thought, oh wow, that's almost a pocket clip already. Why not just figure out how to make it a pocket clip rather than add a pocket clip? To me, it looks like a gun that's got two trigger guards on it. Why couldn't they just make this functional instead of adding this? 
but uh, while we're talking about this lever here, um, I like the way that it looks like this. I think that it just, it's got just a really unique look to it. But when you deploy it out to right, I just think that this here just looks awkward, goofy, unnatural, just, I don't know, just, I don't know, it just, I don't really like the way that that looks. I like the way it looks like this, when you deploy it, and you go to write with it, I just feel like, I just, it just looks goofy to me. So I, I love everything from here down, cosmetically, just the lines and the attention to detail, the shape of this pen. I like the function of this lever and dropping the pen cartridge down, but I, don't know, I just I wish they would have thought of something different with this lever so that it would have looked a little straighter and it would have functioned a little nicer as a pocket clip. To me, that just that looks like it doesn't belong with the rest of the pen. For a pen that retails for $160, Boy, I wish I would have loved it more than I do after spending that kind of money on a everyday carry pen. But there are parts about this pen that just seem like a miss for me that I don't like. So I'm not sure. I I do like the, the function of the, the Fisher Space Cartridge pen where you can write vertically with it. There was a, a cabinet shop that I worked at and we had a tablet of paper screwed to the drywall next to the phone and you'd be writing like this and you'd have to hold your pen down to let the ink gather again and then continue on with writing your message. And this pen you would not need to do that, but uh, I don't know, just I really like the way that that G2 Pilot gel cartridge writes. I really like the way that that pen writes and I thought that this was going to use that ink cartridge and it would be easy for me to replace. I'd just drive to Walmart and pick up replacement ink cartridges. With this pen, I have to go online and purchase more because there is no local retailer close to me that sells a Fisher Space Pen ink cartridge. So for the amount of money that was spent on this knife, I have to admit I'm a little disappointed. But it, it is a nice pen and it's got that that like Nike feel that like Sony high end like this is name brand and I'm excited about the name brand that is inscribed on the side of the clip. Microtech is a really nice respected name brand and I expect a lot from Microtech when I spend that kind of money and I kind of feel like there were some issues with this design for me. So kind of wish that I loved this pen more than I do for as much money as I spent on it, but I uh, kind of don't.